for any cyclist, the ultimate test of pure performance is racing on the track. Unlike road bikes, these streamlined machines have no gears and no brakes. Their thin tires have no tread. This is track cycling. Riders adopt low positions to reduce air resistance. But strict rules dictate what position they can use. Super cyclist Chris Boardman is one of the fastest men in the world. He's won many trophies, including an Olympic gold medal. The reason that I'm in cycling at all is because I wouldn't say I, I want to win, I would say that I need to win just to be normal. Uh, I don't think it's a particularly healthy way to be, but it's been rather effective over the years. Chris Boardman has been competing since the age of 13. I think the bicycle is a unique machine because it allows a tremendous amount of speed to be gained simply by the use of the human body. It's that you are the engine and I think it gives a certain sense of freedom, uh, probably as close as you're going to get to flying without actually doing so. The shape of his bike and his posture determine Boardman's aerodynamic efficiency. On the track, aerodynamics is hugely important. Uh, the position of the rider being the most important point of all because the rider is over 80% of the frontal area. Now, I don't generate huge amounts of power, but I do have the ability to make myself into, for want of a better description, a very aerodynamic shape. Uh, I can get a lot out of my engine. It's like a car having a very small engine, but also having a very small drag coefficient. So the, uh, the power to drag ratio is quite high. Boardman is racing here in the green shorts. The design of his bike allows him to crouch down into a special aerodynamic position, now outlawed. The last two decades have seen some radical experiments in rider position. It started with Boardman's aero bike, which took the rider lower than any other bike at the time. After wind tunnel tests showed it to be far more aerodynamic, Boardman rode this bike to victory in the 1992 Olympics. A year later, Scottish cyclist Graham Obrey invented the even more radical aerodynamic tuck. The sport's governing body, the UCI, didn't like the tuck, even though it helped Obrey break the one-hour track world record in 1993. The position itself was pushed right to the, to the edge of the rules and with the arms completely tucked up underneath the chest so uh, a headless chicken type position was assumed. Very ungainly and not a lot of fun to look at but extremely effective. The UCI declared the tuck dangerous and banned it from the track. But Obrey responded with the Superman position. The Superman position was extremely efficient because the arms, as, as you can tell by the name, were pretty much straight out in front of you. And the only thing that was presented to the air was, was the fist of the rider. The traditionalist in me thought it looked stupid, frankly. But Boardman was forced to adopt the Superman position when Obrey began breaking his records. Then, with speeds approaching 45 kilometers per hour, Boardman won his titles back. Finally, the Superman position was also banned. 